The badminton world number one singles player Kenta Momota won the All Japan Championships on the 20th of December to complete the first step of his comeback, nearly a year after suffering his serious injury in a car crash. Kenta Momota feared that his career could have been over after fracturing his eye socket back in January 2020. In the All Japan Championships, Momota came from behind to beat the world number 11, Kanta Suniyama, 18-21, 21-12 and 21-17 in Tokyo. Kanta Suniyama is a very tough opponent and somebody who is looking to break into the top 10 rankings. This was obviously a very close game going to all three games with Momota even losing the first set. This just shows that he still has that fight and determination to come back which he has always had before his long layoff. Kenta Momota said that he was too cautious and started to lose his cool once he had the lead. He also said that he was feeling very nervous due to it being his first tournament back which is fully understandable. We were all wondering whether or not Kenta Momota would return to his best self and I think that we will see this in 2021. However it would take time before he is 100% and I think in his first tournaments back in January I wouldn't expect him to be his best and winning them. However it would be great to see him back competing at the international stage where I believe he would cause a lot of problems for other top men's singles players. The win at the All Japan Championship gave Momota his third straight national title and he immediately turned his thoughts towards making his international comeback at the Thailand Open in January. Kenta Momota said, the Thailand Open starts in the new year and I'll be able to play against players from overseas. I want to go there and show that what I can do as the top Japanese player. Kenta Momota has that incredible attitude where he hates to lose and this is one of the reasons why he is world number one. You can tell that he is super motivated for the upcoming 2021 Tokyo Olympics in his home country too. This is why I can't wait to see his comeback and how he will rival up against the likes of Victor Axelsen, Chow Tien Chen, Anthony Ginting and Anders Antonsen for example. Kenta Momota is only 25 as well which is still really young for a badminton player, he isn't even in his prime age yet. After a really bad 2020 for all sports, I believe 2021 could be one of the most exciting years for badminton, especially with the rankings and the Olympics. Also in the All Japan Championships, Yuta Watanabe won in the men's doubles with Hiroyuki Endo and in the mixed doubles with Arisa Higashino. In the women's singles, Nozomi Okahara came out as the winner, while in the women's doubles, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota were victorious. Japan really has some talented players in all of the badminton categories. Yuta Watanabe is an incredible young player, he's already really experienced and one of the best players in the world in men's doubles as well as mixed doubles. Japan currently have at least one player or pair in their top five in the world in all five disciplines, men's singles, men's doubles, women's singles, women's doubles and mixed doubles. Let me know in the comments if you guys think Kenta Momota will keep his place as number one in the world in 2021 and how you think he will do in the tournaments coming up in January. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and like the video to see more badminton content. Have an amazing day.